It's time for English on the go, so we're going to take a look at Alex's full clip where he talks to us about how he learned to save money from his parents. He even tells us a little bit about his dad's childhood. Let's find out. Just one eight nature. Are you ready? Go! Saving money is something that my family has always taught me to do. When my dad was a kid, he had seven other brothers and sisters, and they were not wealthy. They were not rich. So what happened is my grandmother would have all the kids take ketchup packets from fast food places and refill the ketchup bottle as a way to save money. You do what you have to do, even today. I came home to visit and of course I'm staying at my parents house because I'm gonna save money as well it's not as intense as it used to be we're not as poor as my dad's family was but still it feels good to save money 네 이야기 잘 들어보셨죠 오늘의 핵심 어휘입니다 첫 번째로 부유한 이라는 뜻의 wealthy wealthy 부 자체를 wealth라고 명사로 쓰죠. 그런데 거기에 y를 붙여서 wealthy. 그 다음으로 통이나 곽이나 갑. 이거는 물건에 따라 사이즈나 모양이 다를 건데요. 아무튼 packet이라고 합니다. packet. 그리고 어, 다음으로 넘어가기 전에 발음 연습을 해보죠. Repeat after me. Starting with wealthy. 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 Next we have packet. 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 Perfect. Let's look at some more vocabulary words. 우리가 흔히 리필한다라고 외래어처럼 쓰는 단어가 이제 refill 있는데요. Refill. 그래서 다시 채우다라는 거죠. Fill 한 거를 re 하는 거예요. 발음은 사람에 따라 조금씩 달라서 refill이라고 하는 사람도 있고 refill이라고 하는 사람도 있는데 어, refill 자체 명사로 가리킬 때는 항상 refill이라고만 합니다. 그 다음으로 극심한, 격렬한이라고 할때 intense 쓰이는데요. 발음 연습 간단하게 해보죠. Next we have refill, 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 and lastly we have intense, intense, intense. Perfect. Let's take a look at Alex's clip once again. Saving money is something that my family has always taught me to do. When my dad was a kid, he had seven other brothers and sisters. And they were not wealthy. They were not rich. So what happened is my grandmother would have all the kids take ketchup packets from fast food places and refill the ketchup bottle as a way to save money. You do what you have to do. Even today, I came home to visit and of course, I'm staying at my parents' house because I'm going to save money as well. It's not as intense as it used to be. We're not as poor as my dad's family was, but still, it feels good to save money. I would just like to say that that house and the green trees around you just yeah. look so beautiful. Looks like, beautiful. can can I <laughs> teleport myself there right now? No, you can't <laughs> because you have to work. You have That's work right. to do. <laughs> 자 그러면 메가 선생님은 해야 할 일이 있으니까 바로 <laughs> 공부를 okay. 도와드리는 거죠. Yeah. 자첫 번째 줄로 돌아가서 공부를 시작해 볼게요. All right, let's do it. Saving money is something that my family has always taught me to do. When my dad was a kid, he had seven other brothers and sisters, and they were not wealthy. They were not rich. Saving money is something that my family has always taught me to do. Saving money, 돈을 절약하는 것, 돈을 아끼는 것은 is something that my family has always taught me to do. Mm -hmm. 그러니까, uh, 저, 우리 가족이 저에게 항상 가르쳐 준 것입니다. Something that my father taught me 까지만 해도 음. 아니면 something that my family taught me 까지만 해도 가르쳐 준 거라는 의미는 음. 틀릴 수 있지만 이제 taught me to do냐 음흠. taught me to remember냐 음. 그 뒤에 이제 행동으로 옮기는지 음흠. taught me about 그냥 그것에 대해서 알려준 건지 right. 그런 미세한 느낌 차이가 있어요. Right. 
But yeah. for sure, in this case, taught me to do means that he's learned how to save. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you can teach a kid math. Mm -hmm. So math is what my father taught me. Yes. 까지 쓰잖아요. Yeah. 어떤 과목이니까 공부 내용이니까 그런데 이렇게 절약하는 습관 같은 거는 mm -hmm. taught me to, to do. do. 굉장히 잘 어울리는 것 같습니다. Yes. 다음 줄 볼까요? Mm -hmm. He says, when my dad was a kid, he had seven other brothers and sisters. When my dad was a kid, 저희 아버지가 어렸을 때, 아이였을 때, mm -hmm. 어렸을 때, he had seven other brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. 어, 형제 자매가 일곱 명이 있었어요. 그러니까 아이가 총 여덟 명이 있었던 거죠. Yes. 그 집에는. That was a big family. That is a big family. Yeah. Even in the standard of, I guess, his childhood. Yeah. 그리고 어, 여기서 brothers and sisters라는 말은 그냥 한 단어로 siblings, siblings. 할 수도 있을 것 같아요. 그래서 yes. he had seven other siblings. siblings. 아니면 just seven siblings? Seven siblings. Yeah. Because yeah. right. you know the siblings are not you. Yeah. You're not included. 맞아요. Right? 이게 우리가 자주 하게 되는 실수 중에 하나인데 저희 집은 삼남매입니다라고 말하고 싶을 때 I have three siblings라고 하면 은 갑자기 사남매가 되어버리는 yeah. 거예요. That means you have four. 자신을 빼야 되니까. Yes, you have to take yourself out. Yeah. Perfect. And next he says and they were not wealthy. They were not rich. And they were not wealthy. 네. Wealthy. They were not rich. Wealthy, rich, 같은 뜻이죠. Mm -hmm. 그래서 부유한, wealthy. 라는 wealthy. 단어가 쓰였습니다. 어, 저희 아버지 가족은 부유하지 않았어요. 부자가 아니었어요. Mm. Let's find out more. So what happened is my grandmother would have all the kids take ketchup packets from fast food places and refill the ketchup bottle as a way to save money. You do what you have to do. So what happened is my grandmother would have all the kids take ketchup packets from fast food places. 그래서 wealthy 하지 않았다고 이야기를 한 다음에 mm -hmm. By the way, wealthy 하고 rich 잠깐 설명을 조금만 더 붙이자면 mm -hmm. Rich하고 wealthy는 같은 뜻이지만 mm. Rich라고 했을 때는 좀 맛이 풍부하고 이런 걸 수도 있잖아, 있잖아요. Oh, 그래서 right. 문맥상 like A chocolate yeah. cake can be very rich. 네. Like it's very sweet. You can't have much of it. 네, rich, right? 다, rich 안에도 다른 뜻이 있으니까 mm -hmm. 그거를 헷갈리지 않도록 wealthy 쪽으로 딱 쓰면 명확하죠. Yes. Wealthy는 그런 다른 뜻이 없으니까. Mm -hmm. 그래서 wealthy 하지 않았기 때문에 어떤 일이 있었냐면 So what happened is 아니면 what happened was도 mm -hmm. 같을 거예요, 의미는. My grandmother would have all the kids mm -hmm. 아버지하고 나머지 seven other siblings. The seven others. Take ketchup packets. 네. Ketchup packets. From fast food places. Mm -hmm. Fast food places라는 건 fast food restaurants. restaurants. Fast food 식당에서 take, 가져오도록 시킨 거예요. Mm. Ketchup packet는 생각해 보면 이제 패킷 자체가 통, 곽, 갑이라서 mm -hmm. 큰 것도 있을 수 있고 작은 것도 있을 수 있는데 보통 ketchup packet은 그 비닐봉지 이렇게 야, 납작하게 일회용으로 짜서 나오는 거 있잖아요. Yeah. So nowadays we think of packet as something like that's kind of tiny yeah. and usually not like, a hard case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a soft yeah. like vinyl or something. 물론 패킷 자체가 hard case일 수도 있어요. It can be. 네. But if you just say a something packet, I think most people think of something like a ketchup packet. 네. 그래서 ketchup packet이라고 이런 경우에 ketchup packet 패킷을 공부하셨어요? 그냥 공부 팁으로. Mm -hmm. 통, 곽, 갑이라고 하고 그냥 넘어가면 다음번에 케첩 패킷이라는 말이 나왔을 때 이게 큰 건지 작은 건지 알 수가 없잖아요. Right. 가장 좋은 것은 인터넷 검색으로 이미지 검색을 해보시면 mm -hmm. 수백만 개의 yes. 이미지가 나오거든요. 딱 보면 아 우리가 흔히 일회용으로 짜서 먹는 거 mm -hmm. 그걸 어, 가지고 오라고 하신 거예요. Mm -hmm. 이렇게 누구나 가져갈 수 있게끔 해놨으니까. That's right. 그런 후에 집에 와서 뭘 하냐면 yeah. So then they would do this and refill the ketchup bottle as a way to save money. 네. Refill. Refill. 다시 채우다. Refill. Refill 하는 거예요. Mm -hmm. The ketchup bottle. 여기서 말하는 the ketchup bottle은 집에 있는 ketchup yes. 통. The bigger one made out of plastic. The bottle of ketchup. That they have at home. At home. Uh, as a way to save money. 그걸 가져와서 ketchup 통을 채우게 하셨대요. 돈을 아끼려고. Mm -hmm. 그런 다음에. And next he says something. It's a really good expression. It's you do what you have to do. 네. Or some people say you do what you gotta do. 네. 물론 그렇게 하는 게뭐 사람들이 가져가게끔 놔둔 거긴 하지만 뭐 그렇게 했어야 하느냐 뭐 비난할 수 있잖아요. 그러니까 you do what you have to do. Yeah, you do what you gotta do. 어쩔 수 없이 하는 거죠라고 mm -hmm. 이제 그 당시에 있었던 일을 지금 이야기 설명하고 있습니다. Mm -hmm. You do 하, 당신은 합니다. What you 
have to do. 해야 하는 일을 하게 되죠. 어쩔 수 없이 해야 하는 일들이 있죠. Mm -hmm. You do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Right? Gotta do 같은 경우에는 you have got to do의 줄임말 yes. 형태로 you do what you gotta do. Yeah. I mean, if you need to use that for that purpose, then okay. 네. You know, you gotta mm -hmm. live, right? <laughs> Let's look at the next part. Even today, I came home to visit, and of course, I'm staying at my parents' house because I'm going to save money as well. It's not as intense as it used to be. Even today, I came home to visit. Even today, 어, 오늘도요. 오늘도 예를 들어서 마찬가지입니다라는 mm -hmm. 의미로 말을 하고 있습니다. Even today, I came home to visit. Mm -hmm. 저는 방문하러 집에 왔어요 라고 mm -hmm. 하는데 우리가 문맥을 알잖아요. 알렉스 씨는 한국에 살고 있고 yes. 지금 미국을 방문했기 때문에 고향을 방문하려고 왔다고 번역을 해봤고 yes. Even today 이, 이 문장만 그냥 떼어놓고 보면 은어저 집에 자주 오는데 오늘도 왔어요 이렇게 돼버리잖아요. 그게 uh, 아니고 yeah. 아직 안 끝났어요 문장이 mm -hmm. 오늘도 지금도 예를 들어서 해당이 되는데 mm -hmm. 지금 고향 방문 중인데 바로 다음 줄에 나옵니다. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm staying at my parents' house because I'm going to save money as well. And of course, I'm staying at my parents' house. Mm -hmm. 그 고향 방문하면서 뭐 호텔에 있을 수도 있겠고 다른 곳에 있, 있고 싶을 수 있잖아요. 그런데 그게 아니고 당연히 <웃음> 돈을 아끼기 위해서 어, I'm going to save money as well. 돈도 mm -hmm. 아낄 거기 때문에 당연히 부모님 집에 또 머물고 있어요. It doesn't cost money if you yeah. stay at your parents' house unless It's they free. charge you. They wouldn't there. do that for yeah. visiting. Yeah, for visiting, they're just they happy don't. to see you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he says, "It's not as intense as it used to be." 어떤 단어가 나왔죠? Intense. Intense. 극심한, 격렬한이라고 하는 사전에 나와 있는 정의를 써놓긴 했는데요. Mm -hmm. 그냥 쉽게 생각하면 심한 거예요, 심한 거. Yeah. Yeah. It's intense. not as severe or yeah. intense. Intense. There's an example sentence for you. Yes. For example, you can say, "He was under intense pressure." 그는 he was under pressure, 압박을 받고 있었습니다. 압력을 받고 있었습니다. 근데 intense pressure니까 심한 압박. Mm -hmm. 그리고 intense는 또 날씨 이야기할 때 intense heat. Oh, yeah, that means it's way too hot. 네. The heat is severe. 네, 심한 더위죠. Mm -hmm. Intense heat 때문에 어떻다, 뭐 이런 mm -hmm. 뉴스 보도들 많이 볼 수가 있어요. Yes. 그래서 it's not as intense as it used to be. Mm -hmm. Not as Intense as 뭐뭐뭐 하면 그것만큼 intense 심하진 않다라는 mm -hmm. 말인데 It used to be 지금 뭔가 핵심 내용이 다 앞에 나와서 생략되어 있지만 mm -hmm. 예전만큼 심하지 않다. 뭐냐면 예전만큼 돈을 아끼려는 노력들이 yes. intense하지 않다. Yes. So the amount of effort they put into saving money mm -hmm. is not as intense as it was before. In other words, They don't try as hard to, to save, save money. money. There 예전, you go. 예전만큼 돈을 아끼기 위해 더 노력 그, 그때만큼 노력하지는 않아요. That was a good summary. All right. All right. Let's look at the next part. <laughs> We're not as poor as my dad's family was, but still, it feels good to save money. We're not as poor as my dad's family was. 네, 여기에서는 이 번역을 서로 비교해 보시면은 영어 문장과 번역을 비교해 보시면은 mm -hmm. 마지막에 was가 있고 없고가 영어에서는 굉장히 효율적으로 문장 뜻을 바꿔주는데 우리만은 좀 설명이 더 필요합니다. 예를 들어서 We're not as poor as my dad's family 해버리면 yeah, it's like, 지금의 yeah. 아버지 가족을 말하고 있는 거예요. It's like right now, but it's like, wait, aren't you a part of your dad's family? So it's weird. Yeah. So you need was because yeah. then you know, oh, in the past. In the past, right? 네. 그래서 마, 물론 구분해서 말을 한다고 하더라도 yeah. 나는 my family가 있고 my dad's family가 있고 oh, 한다고 true. 하더라도 현재 가난하시고 우리는 그만큼은 right. 아니다 이렇게 되는 것처럼 yes. 됐다가 was가 들어가는 순간 아 예전에 you need the was 네, for sure 아버지의 유년기를 말하는 거죠 그래서 mm -hmm. we're not as poor as my dad's family was, was 굉장히 중요한 was였습니다 it is, it is very important very important for sure and lastly he ends his clip by saying but still it feels good to save money 네 그때처럼 상황이 절박하지는 않지만 mm -hmm. It's not as intense as it used to be, mm -hmm. but still, 그래도 뭐 그렇다 하더라도 it feels good to save money. Yeah. 지금 습관이 되어 있기 때문에 어, 돈을 아끼면 기분이 자동으로 좋은 거죠. Mm, for sure. All right. All right. Perfect. It feels good to review the clip, doesn't it? It does. Let's review it once again. <laughs>
Saving money is something that my family has always taught me to do. When my dad was a kid, he had seven other brothers and sisters, and they were not wealthy. They were not rich. So what happened is my grandmother would have all the kids take ketchup packets from fast food places and refill the ketchup bottle as a way to save money. You do what you have to do. Even today, I came home to visit and of course, I'm staying at my parents' house because I'm gonna save money as well. It's not as intense as it used to be. We're not as poor as my dad's family was, but still, it feels good to save money.